This is a uh, young lady who had eyes that crossed. And in particular... Most of us are familiar with the terms cross-eyed or lazy eye, but Dr. Joseph Deemer sees many forms of this condition called strabismus. More than just cosmetic, it often causes double vision. People who are cross-eyed have one kind of strabismus, and the medical term for that is called esotropia. The opposite, people who are wall-eyed, have got exotropia. Now, vertical deviation of the eyes with one eye above the other is another form of strabismus called hypertropia, and that leads to vertically displaced images with one above the other. Surgery to correct strabismus involves cutting one or more of six major muscles that control eye movement and reattaching them to the eye to lengthen or shorten those muscle bands, thereby increasing or decreasing the tension or the pull. When this muscle tightens, it turns the eye here toward my left, and when its opponent tightens and this one relaxes, the eye rotates in the other directions. Improvements in strabismus surgery have been made over the years, but Dr. Deemer and his team now offer a minimally invasive technique using only numbing drops, and the patient takes part. And we can make incisions on the filmy covering of the eye and access the tendons and other tissues that affect eye movements with a, a great deal of comfort for the patient so that they don't need to be asleep. And the real value of this approach is that we make smaller incisions and the patient participates in letting us know the success of the operation in real time. So after we begin the operation tentatively, we have the patient sit up, put on glasses if they need them, look around, and we verify the success of the operation before it's concluded. It is used to track the movements of the eye. In the research lab, Dr. Deemer and his team have discovered the biological and mechanical structures influencing eye movement are far more complex than anyone could have imagined. I came to the field of medicine actually as an engineer. I was interested in biomedical engineering and I was particularly intrigued by the extreme precision of the visual system, in particular the eye movement uh, control system, which has got to be exquisite for us to see comfortably and with single vision and it appealed to me that we might be able to use modern engineering techniques of mechanical engineering, computer simulation, computer analysis, and imaging in order to solve these very practical and important biological problems. Knowledge and insight resulting in success stories that might otherwise never have been possible. This is an older lady who uh, awoke one morning unable to look up with her left eye. We were able to fix this complicated form of strabismus by correcting vertical double vision through operation on a horizontal muscle. So as a result, we've been able to use a very modern science to guide the new kinds of surgeries that we're developing and performing here at UCLA. And we currently have some techniques available here that are really not available elsewhere yet. Dr. Deemer now performs his awake strabismus procedure on patients every week. And in the meantime, he and his team are quite literally writing the textbooks on the next generation of cures.